Alright guys, I'm back here for a real review. This is my uh, Cast King stealth and I'm loving it so far. Drinking some Redder's Peach Tea, pulling a Cy Robertson today. For all of you who do not know, I'm not a tea guy. I haven't found a single tea I like so far. But I saw some Rutter's Beach tea in my fridge, so I tried it. And so far, I'm liking it. I've tried Lipton Peach tea, and pretty sure one other tea, but. Rudder's Peach Tees, where is that so far? Okay, now let's get into the real review. That's why you guys are tuning in. Not for a peach, re peach tea review. This is just what I was fishing with today. Only caught two fish. It's really starting to slow down at my neighbor's pond. But, oh well, I just have to start finesse fishing a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so, you can see it got green from uh, the pond today. But right now, I'm in love with this reel. Like, a lot. It's the best. I've only had, this is only my second reel, but I'm loving it. I'm thinking about buying another one and putting it on another rod. Instead of getting a lose. I mean, so, I'll, out of 10, what I'd rate this is an 8. Because I would rate it a 10, but I haven't tried all of the reels. So there might be a different one that I like even more. But I really like this one. It's very nice. You know, I haven't even used it for a week. Making a video you just interrupted. You didn't even make supper yet. Can we run up a little bit and then make supper? No. We're just gonna have to eat. Really? Yeah. Well, I guess I'm making this fast because my mom's about to vacuum. But uh, yeah, it's very nice. But this real rod and reel combo is pretty nice. It's great for flipping and pitching. It's all around very nice. Honestly, I really like casking. I might try out another really reel, but I'm really just thinking about buying another one and putting it on a more flexible rod for top water. Even though my one friend thinks I'm crazy, but I like him. So, yeah. I'm sorry, guys, I haven't fished in a while, but. Yeah. I might just leave this unedited to make it a little bit longer. I get some backlashes every once in a while with it, but that's because it this bull moves so fast. I could turn the magnetic braking all the way up, but I don't really feel it needs to be all the way up. It guys fine right now, so. And I know I haven't even had it for a week, but I'm really liking it. But yeah, so. Now what? I'll you. Oh, okay. Hey, I like the peach, Rudder's peach tea. No, we use drink because I don't like it. Really? Hey, you just got me a whole less than half, half a gallon. 
Oh well. So hopefully, uh, that's not too loud out there because my mom is vacuuming. I'm probably just gonna let this unedited because it's gonna be such a short video and I hate posting short videos, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I do have one video I, I was thinking about posting, but I'm not going to because it's 30 some minutes long and I don't feel like editing it and I'm lazy so but this weekend um, my friends and I fished we're gonna name ourselves uh, the Junior Guggen Squad probably not because then everybody's gonna be like oh man you guys are copying Alex Perrick and Lunkers and John B and all them but technically we're not because we're junior Dugan squad not Dugan squad so I see about stuff but if you want to see the footage of that go check out cast and blast outdoors it would be on his channel because I didn't record any of it because I only caught two fish and my other friend caught two fish and the one that posted it he caught about five fish and I didn't record because they were all spread apart and it was really bad. Like it would have been really bad quality, but he made it pretty good. So guys, go check it out. It's a really short video, but that's because not a lot of action happened like all together. So you have to check his channel out and watch it and like it and subscribe to him too. He's a cool dude. Um, I don't even know what to talk about. Um, I want to make it like at least 10 minutes, it's at 7 minutes right now, unedited, and I want to edit out some parts, but I'm probably not, I'm probably just going to upload this right to my computer and post it, just because I like longer videos, well not longer videos, but you know what I mean, at least 10 minutes, you can't just have 5 minute video. I am going out hunting this weekend so hopefully I might take my phone out because it depends where we are if we're in a tree stand or not I might turkey hunt which I probably will just because where I am right now it turkey won't be in but if I go up to my cabin it will be in so I'll probably turkey hunt but I might take the bow up too just in case if I want to bow hunt a little bit I don't know I'm probably I might I'm not sure I'm definitely packing everything just in case but you never know so hopefully I can get some footage of that and hopefully see like birds and squirrels flying and stuff like that hopefully have an interesting video I don't know what I'm going to do because my neighbor's pond is really starting to slow down. Like, yesterday I only caught one fish, but I thought it was because I was using a flipping rig. And so I figured that's probably why. Like, I did reel it, just reel it in, but, and that got me one fish. And I figured this would get them today. Can't see it because I'm going to find I thought this would just catch a bunch, but it only got two. And I'm not blaming the baits. The baits are good. And the jig. But I really like this action. Like, you push it down. Oh, I didn't even click it in. But whenever you close it, it doesn't even reel in a little line. Like, if I just hold it, like, hold the spool. It won't reel up any line at all. With my Abu Garcia, it would reel up a little bit, which I am really like it. And another difference between my Abu Garcia and my Cast King is that my Abu Garcia couldn't reel up um, slack line. 
so like just like loose line I mean so if I had all this line right here just loose see how it's hanging right there if it was like that and I reeled up a bunch of that it would it wouldn't reel it tight so it would be very loose and when it next cast it just backlash the one thing about the spool is it's so light that it will backlash sometimes depending on like how hard you whip it out there if you're just doing regular cast and not like really trying to whip it out there as far as you can then it should be fine but I got about maybe five backlashes um, at during a three hour fishing trip and that was it and it wasn't like all at the same time it was spread out with my Boo Garcia I got five backlashes within ten minutes that's not good but my friend that I gave it to is doing very good with it I was pretty happy about that because I didn't want him to go fishing and just keep backlashing and not want to fish again so yeah and he could even kind of flip and pitch a little bit I mean I'm probably better but I've been fishing longer I'm hoping that I'll probably have to start finesse fishing at my neighbors so I'm hoping that we can go to a couple of different places to uh, fish that I won't have to finesse fish because to me finesse fishing is very boring. I like to pick up like a little swim shad like my jig that I have tied on and, and just throw it out there, reel it in, maybe jig it up a little bit sometimes. I'd rather be doing that than throwing a worm out there, letting it sink and then slowly pulling it up. But Sometimes you gotta do that. I just can't wait for her to get real cold and uh, water to freeze over so I can ice fish. Yeah, so thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe and like the video. Thanks, bye.